15 minutes to go. I was in my first year of art school, and this was the first time I was going to be presenting my works of sculpture. So I was one of few students selected to showcase my work to some visiting artists and alumni. And as a first year student, that was a really big deal. So it was the morning of the presentation, and I was on my way to set up. I was running down the stairs. Okay, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I was struggling down the stairs um, with my little sculpture in my backpack and this massive plinth in my hands. Now, this is a plinth I was going to be showing my sculpture on. And this plinth was way too big for me to be carrying by myself. Big mistake. So, I struggle, I'm making it, and the whole time I'm thinking to myself, don't fall, don't fall. Use all that core strength, don't fall. And I actually didn't fall, if that's what you guys were expecting. But the plinth did. It was a split second, it slipped out of my hands, tumbled down the stairs, and before I knew it, it was broken and completely unusable. My stomach was in my mouth. What on earth was I to show my sculpture on? So I make my way to the presentation room. I'm freaking out the entire time. Walk into this room. All the other students are hanging their paintings, they're arranging their sculptures, they're putting their sculptures on their plinths, which I no longer have. And I was, I was so worried, I didn't want to step out and back out of the presentation. It was really important for me to show my work, but I had nowhere to show it on. And I told myself, Sahani, calm down, think, breathe. And out of nowhere, I had a wild idea. And I was like, should I do it? Should I not do it? I couldn't decide. And I was like, you know what? Just have fun with it. Go for it. So out of nowhere, I take my sculpture out of my bag. I awkwardly fit it onto my hand. And that was going to be my presentation. I was going to wear my sculpture. The feedback I got was amazing. Not only for the work of sculpture, but also the unconventional way that I chose to display it. And that was my first piece of wearable sculpture. And little did I know in that moment that a few years later, and a ton of little sculptures later, I would make it to the cover of Forbes as part of 30 under 30. Um, that we would have platforms of fashion from both India and internationally recognize our work, work and you know we had some amazing features and awards and little did I know in that moment that some inspiring amazing women and men and icons of fashion and contemporary culture would wear and enjoy our work. So from you know Kendall and Kim to Rihanna to Vivica Sonam, and it's it's just incredible because it was all it all started with a broken blend. So I'd actually love to show you guys some of my work. Um, this is a personal favorite. It is architecture for the body. So you sort of fit it on to your head, it goes down as a headpiece and turns into a pair of earrings. It's actually incredibly comfortable to wear, although heads up, do not wear it when you're sleeping. Um, and I find my inspiration in all sorts of places, whether it's food or travel, culture, but I also love looking at the past. And not in a very nostalgic way, but the idea is to bring the best of the past into the future. So this is another piece we recently made. Um, I had come across pictures of my mother's wedding, and she was wearing this beautiful hairpiece, uh, the Indian hairpiece, it's called a veni. And I saw it and I was like, this is so stunning. I want to wear this all the time. 
how do we do that? And we have this incredible culture of jewelry and these amazing techniques in India. And I was like, you know, I'm going to tap into this and kind of take these beautiful concepts and reinterpret them for everyday wear. So you can see here, it's paired effectively with a turtleneck and a jacket. Um, we also did that with these pieces. Again, the ear cuff or the nose piece. These pieces are so rooted in tradition, but here I wanted them to feel like something from the future. And they were instant favorites with a lot of people because of the twist to, you know, tradition. <coughs> and for me, the more I made jewelry, the more I fell in love with it. And I think it is one of the most transformative and meaningful pieces that you can have in your wardrobe. And I personally believe that earrings are probably the most transformative pieces of jewelry of all. Now, I had my ears pierced when I was a little girl, as most women do in India. And I would have a little hoop or a bali. And I thought about it, and I was like, these are such beautiful pieces. I want them to be reinterpreted as sculptures and turn them into modern must-haves. So everything from undulating textures to you know putting a classic spin on things to playing with construction and form, you know, the idea is to create a modern must-have and to feel like you're wearing a piece of sculpture. And the other thing we designed recently was these pendants. Now it's it's amazing because I feel like for me, the pieces of jewelry I wear, they really feel like talismans, like second skin. I don't want to take it off. It's got so much of meaning. It tells a story about me. It tells a story about the owner, the wearer, where we come from, you know, where we belong. And I feel like we're as humans, we're always looking at the stars for answers. And we want to feel like we're part of something bigger, the cosmos. And that's sort of the inspiration behind these pieces, because you wear your own zodiac sign. And I think it's just a beautiful little talisman that you can hold and carry with you through the day. But apart from pieces that you wear in daily life, I think the fun is to be able to expect and really push the boundaries of what you can do. So the sunglasses you see here, they're handmade completely in sterling silver. And I love this sort of retro vibe they have, but they're also very modern and edgy. Now the chain is one of my favorite inventions from last year. This chain can turn into limitless amounts of pieces of jewelry, so I'll show you. So just that, this chain turns into a pair of earrings, a bracelet, a choker, a longer choker, and it doesn't end there. Your only limitation is your imagination. So we wanted to create a piece that sort of is completely convertible, that talks about ideas of multifunctionality, sustainability, but it's still sort of a puzzle. You play with it and you invent your own little piece and the way you want to wear it. And I feel like as humans, we're extremely visual creatures. And the beautiful thing about jewelry is that it's not just something you wear to look a certain way. I feel like it's not an object, it's an emotion. And for example, a look like this. I feel like you're saying so much without having to say anything at all. And that's the beauty of it. And today, when I stand here and I think back that moment of my broken plinth and the first time I wore that piece of sculpture, I truly believe that life tests us so that we can discover our greatest strengths. Thank you.